You know, of the many years that I've lived in the same apartment complex, I still have one of the same gripe that I've had for a very long time. So, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and my hair is bothering me for some reason because it won't go down. Not the point of this video, though. Welcome to another video, and I hope you guys don't mind me going off on a tangent about uh, the complex I live in for a bit. Um, I'm not going to do this for too long because I don't want to keep you guys hearing me rant for too long of a period of time. Um, but anyway, so I've been living in the complex I've, I've lived in for about four years now. One thing seems to be a constant consistency there, here though, that I actually at first bothered me. I, get, I got used to it, but it's still kind of bothersome. That particular problem is that, like, look at this. Aside from the cup and the pan, which I'm going to get rid of shortly, does this look, like, messy to you guys, or does it look a bit more, well, organized? Well, a little bit of a story time. I'm going to add that to this to make it a bit more interesting. The reason I ask about that, to me, this is how I organize how I'm trying to showcase things. That's, I would say, kind of organized, wouldn't you? Well, to pe the owners of this place, that would be considered unhygienic. Apparently. Literally? No. But I'm using that statement because of a situation that I just came home from. So... Amber, my fiance, she, she she was at work, and she gets a hold of me five minutes after the recording that you got of the game you guys will see later today, the new Let's Play, because I can't help myself with that kind of thing, okay? Anyway, I digress. She gets a hold of me and tells me that her roommate, um, Peyton, got an email from our main office basically saying that the owner of this complex stopped by their place and deemed it unhygienic. Then I'm like, okay, I've heard this before. Well, let's just go clean it up. Clean up as much as possible, even if it means we have to deep clean it. Here's where the problem lies. I show up at the complex right after this email is sent and received and spoken of. The place isn't even close to messy. Like, it's this kind of me messy. No, it's more this kind of messy. There are a couple things scattered about. It's kind of a kind of messy when you go into a house you press by, you've finished organizing things, and then you start living there. A couple days later, yeah, there are a couple things lying around. It's that kind of messy. But this is a female apartment. What do you... The stereotypes out there always say that female apartments and homes are a lot more clean. This apartment definitely abides by that stereotype. I go in there, there's a blanket lying on the couch, and there is a computer on the table next to the door, or close by the door, the front door and a couple scattered papers and then in the kitchen you know generic stuff some plates some pots stuff like that not very messy at all nothing deemed unhygienic nothing that in the u.s kappa or is it hapa shoot hipaa that's what it is the health ins insurance portability and accountability association I was kind of online. COPPA is the Children Online Protective Program Association or something like that. How the heck did I get the two mixed up? Anyway, um, so ac according to HIPAA's circumstance, that place would be... If that place was a restaurant, it would get like five stars. Let's put it that way. If not, at least four. That kind of thing. But I digress. 
I'm like, you know what? I don't know what they... I, I'm like looking at the room and I'm thinking, why does the owner find this unhygienic? I'm like looking through the apartment. There are some scattered things, yeah. And some rooms have like you know, bags from, like, DoorDash or, like, as if they were Dash, door, got something off of DoorDash or went to, like, a fast food restaurant or something. Sure, fine. The thing that got me on the full-length gripe of this, though, is one of my ex-roommates who, on one of the videos on my channel, actually shows up. Uh, he shows up in my um, video of Beat Saber. I only did one video of this because everybody was doing it at the time, and I didn't want to feel like I was a copycat. But over on that video, there was one person who showed up who had basically come home from work and he was making food. I think it was like beef stroganoff is what he ended up making. No, not... Well, it was beef something. It was something with beef. No, I said beef. It was beans. He was making beans at the time. I don't know exactly what he was full on making, though, because, again, headset, I couldn't see crap. Anyway, um... This person... In all real, like, this person was so messy that you could, like, open the apart. He could have his bedroom door closed and his window closed. Open the apartment door, not his bedroom door, the apartment door that's quite a ways away from there. And bang, the smell from the, the horrible stench from the room just hits you. And it's like, holy shoot! Like, that's how messy the room was. You walk into this apartment, and it's nowhere even close to that. Let's put it this way. If, if the location, if my, if Amber's apartment was unhygienic, then this roommate of mine, his room, would have been like six dumpsters. Like, garbage dumps. Compiled into one room somehow. Yeah. That's the large difference between the two. Like, literally. The worst room, from what I understand, was like one of the bedrooms. Had a couple of cups in it. Had um, some clothes lying on the floor. Had a bag from, I believe it was Chick-fil-A, on the bed. That's it. That is seriously it. That's That was the worst. It took me two minutes to clean up that entire room. That one room. The messiest room of the place. Because I was basically helping out cleaning out the whole thing. Everybody was kind of working together, but everyone was so frustrated because it didn't make sense. And quite frankly, if I was first living... When I was first living here, I would have been equivalently as frustrated. But at this point, I'm so used to this consistently happening... To everyone, to the point where I'm like, y you know what? I've seen this before. I literally have seen this before, where the person would like go, okay, the same situation. If we check tomorrow and it doesn't meet our contractive standards, you're getting booted. Um, however, if you do pass, which they will, and even I did, then it's just going to be weekly checks for a while. It's going to be consistent weekly checks. Here's the thing, though. I say for a while, because that lasts like three weeks. And then it just stops. I know this because it's happened to me. I was like, you know what? We passed. We're getting weekly checks. Fine. I don't care. Weekly checks happen. They honestly don't care. Because by law here, they can't evict people for being messy. Because... If that was the case, every single complex on the owned by these people, every single person living in every single apartment in every single complex that's owned by this company, all of them would be evicted. Every last one of them. And this company would gain no money. That's where the problem stands. That's why I give this gripe. This is why it kind of upsets me. The company... Well, it doesn't really think logically at all. The owner just comes in, thinks, oh, well, this isn't to my direct standard. It has this mess that I don't like, so I'm risking them living anywhere. Why? What is the point? It's not like this person lives here. 
I mean, yes, they own the place, but it's not like they're going against any... I've read the contract. The contract that the that Amber owns is the same as mine. The, literally, the only difference is... Male, female. That's literally the only difference, actually. My room is messier than hers. And, I mean, my room is basically that. That. You saw the floor, there's a couple clothes on it, plus um, something I need to throw away, actually. I've got some empty cans of Mountain Dew just sitting around just because I have people over a lot. I've got a humidifier that... Pink Fox was very kind to buy for me, and I've got some controllers for the systems that I play on this channel. Outside of that, there's... If it wasn't for those things, this room would be spotless. And yet, there are people, like the company that own this place, who just don't get it. Just don't understand the fact that, hey, not everyone is as clean as the last. And it kind of annoys me. I mean, it's understandable if the person's making a ginormous mess where, like, you can't see the floor, or you can kind of smell the bad, or it's like something's left undone for a long period of time. That I understand. That makes a lot of sense. That would be, if you were to, if the guy were to come by and go, okay, it's a little bit of a mess, I'm going to come back, just so you guys know, I'm going to come back in, like, this many days. If it's still this way, then I'm going to mark you guys as a warning. I'll tell you what you need to do. If you don't do it by this date, then you're getting evicted. That would make a bit more sense. But the problem here is that the email that they got was that people came by to take care of something maintenance-wise. They refused to do it because the place was a little bit of a mess. Then the owner comes by, checks to see why, and deems the place unhygienic without telling anybody why. Why is it unhygienic? What did they need to do to fix that? Owner refused to say anything. That in on its own is where things, he, he, the basic, he or she, the owner, because I actually can't, I'm not gonna say which, anyway, even if I did know, but he or she literally only said that they looked through and deemed the place against contractual obligation. How? They didn't say. They just said it was against the contract and that's it. You can't do that. Legally, I mean, where I live legally, you cannot do that. You have to say why or how, that way the person who lives there can actually fix the problem. Like literally, I went over there, Two of the people who lived there were downright angry at the owner, and the and one of them was literally prepping to leave. Just threatening to get out of there. In fact, I'm pretty sure they still are. And the last one, Amber, broke out. She was so stressed out about the fact that all this is going on that she broke down. I was planning on going over there anyway, but that just gave me more motivation to do so. I think the main reason why this kind of thing happens is because the people who own this place are very money grabby. Like, they just want this. They don't consider logic. They just want this. If they don't get this, then they don't have this. In fact, they never have this. That's not true. It's rare, but they do. The highest up don't. I'll give credit to where it's due, though. The only reason why I'm not fully frustrated about this the highest up act this way, but when it comes to figuring out the problem, if you were to go to the landlady here, you could talk to her about it and fix the issue. Almost that fast. In fact, with a situation like this, that's how it got resolved for me when I had to deal with it. I was like, look, if you're going to evict us, you should really evict this line of people because they are much worse. And immediately, Things get canceled. It's like it never happened. So, the only reason I give this place the benefit of the doubt, and I'm not extremely frustrated about it, is because of that aspect. Because the landlady here is at least reasonable. 
But I don't know. That's These are just my thoughts. This is my gripe on the whole living space here. Within a year's time, I won't be living here anymore anyway. In fact, I've been talking with Amber about, like, um, where our living space is going to be after she and I get married. And we've already figured something out. Something that's actually, it's more expensive than this place, and it's but it's a lot nicer. It's more expensive, but still very reasonably affordable. Anyway... I'm not going to go too much more further on a tangent. I've already gone longer than my generic... I'm, like, looking down at the camera to check the time. I've gone much longer than my generic usually goes, but, yeah. My gripe about this place. There you go. Um, either way around, I am going to leave this video here. Do you guys have any... Have you guys ever had any issues with the living spaces that you've stayed at before? If so, um, let me know in the comments below if you wish. If you have any, if you agree with anything that I've said here, though, today or tonight, depending on when you're watching this, or even if you disagree, uh, consider pushing the like button, and so far you can't see it anymore, and please consider subscribing to the channel. At the point of my recording, I haven't had the chance to do the Chubby Bunny Challenge for a thank you of the milestone that we've already hit, and we're already about to hit another one. Like, holy crap, I'm losing my mind over it. <laughs> Regardless... Um, we'll get to that eventually, but thanks again for watching this video, guys. Uh, check out the links on the side of my head to check out any other live stuff I've done, whether discussion and rants, like the rant I've done today, or videos that are kind of about myself. If you guys like skits, um, gaming content, whether first-time reaction or comedic, or um, any other live random, like vlogs, Definitely check out the channel, because my channel is basically kind of a mix of all that. And hopefully a lot more in the future to come. I'm trying to bring on more variety when it comes to nostalgic minds. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. Either way around, though, if you like any of that kind of stuff, please consider checking out the channel if you have not yet, and consider subscribing to it. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for sticking around for this video, guys, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.